So what you want to do before any exercise is to warm your body up in all planes of movement. So I'm going to be going through those with you now. We'll start at the back of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Chest is nice and wide open. I'm going to start with a roll down. So that's forwards flexion. I'm going to breathe in, tuck the chin to the chest. Soften the knees and breathing out, roll down and hanging the arms down. Looking through the legs, take a nice deep breath in at the bottom. As you breathe out, think of lifting the belly button up towards the spine, engage the abs in and then slowly rolling up. Draw the shoulders back, open the chest. We usually do about three of these. Breathe in. And exhale to roll down, just letting the arms hang down. And the crown of the head point to the floor. It's not about touching your toes, it's more about stretching through the back. Abs in, exhale up. Opening the chest, watching that you don't lock the knees here, keep them a bit soft. And last one, inhale. And exhale to roll down. The arms dangle down there. And now we're going to stay at the bottom. Deep breath in. And breathing out, you're going to walk out onto hands and knees, which we would call all fours position, for the cat stretch. So here it's all about form. The wrists are below your shoulders, the knees are below your hips. And very important to watch the elbows here so that the creases of the elbows are turned inward. So if you'll find if you're um, double jointed, there's a tendency to twist them out. So you want to keep them facing inwards, shoulder blades down. This little natural curve here I have is your neutral spine. So if you've done yoga before, when we do this move cat to cow, I think it's called, um, we hang in a little bit. In Pilates, you want to keep the abs drawn up and keep that neutral spine, shoulders down. So you're looking off the edge of your mat instead of forwards, breathing in. As you breathe out, start from your tailbone. So you're going to tuck the tailbone and around the mid back up and then hang the head down. So watch here that you don't bump around the upper back. Think about the mid back. Breath in and breathe out, release tailbone, mid back, slide the shoulders, lifting the throat, breathing in. As I exhale, imagine drawing my belly button up towards the ceiling as if someone's pulling you up there. Breathe in, hold and breathe out, unravel tailbone, mid back, glide the shoulders, lifting the throat, two more. Think about taking your spine into the shape of an upside down letter C. Breathing in. And then breathe out. That letter C changes into a capital letter S. It doesn't really matter if it's capital <laughs> or lowercase. They look pretty much the same, don't they? Last one, tuck the tailbone and around the back up. Hang the head down. Breathe into your mid-back. And exhale. So you can see you're not swaying arms or legs here when you unravel the spine, they stay still. So that was forward flexion. Now we're going to warm up the spine in rotation. We're going to take your right arm up, bend your left elbow and reach through the gap underneath. Three, two, one. Inhale. So you can see here that I'm keeping the hips still above the knees, so you're going to avoid reaching back. One. Inhale. Up. I do three sets of three. Last one. Reach out to the side and hand down. Breathing so important. Pilates will always try and just remind you where to inhale and exhale. So it's inhale now, left arm out. And three exhales through the gap. Breathing in. Think about your ribs spinning around the spine. Three. Two, one, inhale up. And last one, exhale through the gap. Reach out to the side and then bring the hand down. And from there, we're going to walk our knees back, soften your elbows, and you're going onto your stomach. If you felt any discomfort in your wrists when we were on our hands and knees, you can always come up onto your fists. And especially if you have a thick mat like mine, or if you don't have a mat and you've stacked up a few blankets or towels, just watch carefully when you go onto hands and knees because the thicker the surface, the less of an angle here. So it can be quite uncomfortable, but there's always a modification. So we're turning our feet out now on our stomachs. This is called the breaststroke prep move. 
and it's now we did flexion and rotation and we're going to extend the spine so shoulders relaxed elbows and hands are down watch that you don't over engage these your glutes we're going to keep them relaxed noses hovered just above the floor breathing in to prepare as you breathe out draw your abs up shift your gaze forwards and lift the top few ribs deep breath in at the top and exhale gently lower down breathing in and exhale lift. so you can see i'm not coming up too high you're just lifting the top ribs keeping the bottom ribs down and you get a slight sort of tugging feeling as you can feel the lower back muscles are working so if you do about three or four exhale up hands are light so you're not pushing your hands into the mat here inhale hold and exhale gently lower now we're going to come up higher for swan dive breathing in as you exhale, lift the gaze and the top few ribs as before. Now start pressing through the hands and extend up. When it comes as high as you're comfortable to, watch the shoulders are down. Deep breath in and exhale, rolling down stomach, rib cage, chest and nose. Breathing in and breathe out. So we do the first move as high as we can and then we start pressing through the hands. Keep your... Um, Shoulders down and your chest open. Exhale, roll. It's a lovely energizing move for the back. Shifting the gaze forwards. And the rest of the spine will follow. Breathe in, hold. And breathe out, roll down. If you're able to straighten your arms when you're at the top, then by all means do so, as long as you keep the shoulders down. It's just that I have really long arms, so I'll be levitating if I straighten them. And roll down. If you've done any sort of back extension work like that, you want to release the spine a bit. So we slide the hands back, and you'll hear me often referring to shell stretch. So that's feet together, knees apart. Sink your buttocks towards your heels, and then reach the arms out in front of you. Now, you don't need to bring your buttocks all the way down to your heels. If you can't get there, just stop to where it's comfortable. You can also even stack your fists and just relax here. So it's more about rounding the back than sitting all the way down. Reach your arms out like you're trying to pull the top of the mat towards you. Relax the shoulders and we hold it here for three deep breaths. In through the nose. And we breathe out through the mouth. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more. Breathing in to prepare. As you breathe out, draw your abs up. So think of lifting the belly button. Slide the hands back towards the knees and stacking up shoulders back and down. Now, these last two moves you can actually use at the end of a workout or at the beginning, that's up to you. This one is called the mermaid. It's now for lateral flexion, so side bending. If this is not a comfortable position for you, as it is for many people quite uncomfortable, you can send that leg out or both legs out. So that's your option. We're going to do left foot to right thigh first. Now we're going to bring your hand down, your elbow down. Then you're going to feel this hip wants to join in. You're going to send it away and then you're going to take that right arm over the ear. Relax the shoulders. Don't sink into this one at the bottom. Now think about the muscles between your armpit and your hip. You're going to engage those muscles to help you cartwheel over. Grab your foot for a bit of purchase and then reach the arm over. So you're quite tight on the side. And that's because of the position of the legs. Send away. Deep breath in, exhale, abs in, engage those obliques and cartwheel up and over, stretch, tilt the head to the side. Watch that you're looking forwards and that you don't um, rotate. And last one, hand, elbow down, send that hip away if it starts to look nice, stretch from armpit to hip, and exhale. So you usually do about three of these on each side. Lengthen up tall, shoulders down and relaxed. And let's swap sides. So now it's your right foot to your left thigh. And just making sure you have enough space. 
around you when you're setting up your mats for a workout. Especially moving those arms and legs around and stretch. Deep breath in and exhale. Making sure that you do tilt the head with you as you go as well. Inhale, hold, you can release the neck. And exhale, up and over. Ooh, breath in. And last one here, hand, elbow down, send the hip away as you bend, breathe in to stay. And exhale, cartwheel up and over to the other side. Deep breath in, hold. Exhale, lengthen up tall, bringing the arm down. From there, we're gonna go onto hands and knees again. Here, your hands can be a bit further forward. Tuck your toes under, set the shoulders. We're gonna go up into pike, and if you've done yoga before, it's down with dog. We're gonna press the tailbone up high, then press back through your heels. You don't have to get them to touch the floor as long as you're pushing back as far as you can. Slide the shoulders down, and we hold here for three deep breaths. Nice stretch for the back line, from the heels to the back. Then we're gonna lift one heel and then the other, so you're pedaling the legs or walking on the spot, stretching up through the calves. Make sure you don't hunch the shoulders, sit them back. Another five, four, three, two, one. Press back. Now you can either walk hands to feet or feet to hands. I'm gonna do feet to hands. You breathe in. And as you breathe out, walk your feet forwards. Just as you can get the feet flat. Then hang the arms, torso and head. Deep breath in. Knees are unlocked, so they're a bit soft. Abs up. And then exhale, building the spine. Top of the pelvis. Open the chest, draw the shoulders back and down. And that's it. That's your warm up and cool down. You can put it at the end or at the beginning or both of your routines. Thank you so much for joining and see you soon.